Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. RIP to this FIBA 22 market. EA Sports dropped some unprecedented content yesterday with some 50K preview packs in the store that absolutely destroyed prices on this game. Basically the biggest market crash that we have seen yet this year in a short term time span the biggest percentage price drops that we have literally seen on the game this year. It's been absolutely insane. The price drops that have happened in the past, basically 12 hours from when I'm recording this video. So I want to take a look at why the market dropped so big yesterday and even how it's probably going to go lower today into Monday into the early parts of this week, as there's a lot of speculation, rumor, and leaked info about that base icon upgrade that we talked about in yesterday's video. It's seeming like it really could come today as we were expecting. So I'll talk about that as well. And uh, even how we made some coins through this whole madness uh, yesterday on the market. But what I want to talk about first is this tweet right here that I saw before launching up this video today is... Um, I feel like this really describes how a lot of people are feeling on the market right now. This is Inception saying, the amount of coins I've lost this weekend, he says, gotta play stock market 22 over here to enjoy the game. And I think a lot of people feel this way is that they're consistently and constantly losing coins on their team and that's just making the game not fun for them because of how everything just keeps devaluing and how everything, you, you go to your team and you're like, man, I bought Usman Dembele for 40K, and, and, and now this guy is like all the way down at, what is he, like 19,000 coins. Like these price drops, they can be very demoralizing. I 100% get that. So at the beginning of this video, I want to know down in the comments, how are you guys feeling about this? Are you upset? Do you enjoy the low prices because it's so cheap and everything is attainable? Or does it not bother you that you lose coins? That's what I want to know down in the comments because I want to hear some feedback from you guys and just to get a bit of a pulse on how you feel about the market right now in this game. But let's get into it and let's talk about why this market is in the bin. And there is one main culprit as to why this market has dropped off so much, and it is right here. The Rare Players Preview Pack, a 50K pack. I mean, I had no idea. I don't think anybody expected. This is a huge blindside from EA. Basically a 50K pack for anybody in the entire world that wants to get on FIFA. This is free. You can open the pack and it doesn't cost you anything. You only decide later on if you wanna actually buy the pack. So, I mean, five of these out for 24 hours, people are just, they're just opening all of these. Like they open the first one, maybe they don't get anything good and it's not worth the 50K to buy it with coins. So they buy it anyway and they could think, oh man, I got five of these so I can hit one more. And man, if I just pack somebody big, uh, because you know, the, the probabilities here make it look like they could pack somebody big a 9.6% chance of an 88 plus player and a 7.9% chance of a rule breakers card. It's crazy, right? The pack weight is really, really high. And the fact that literally everybody can go and open these packs, a lot of people got really good pack pulls today since it was five packs per account and everybody in the world was opening these preview packs. It supplied the market just so incredibly much. And I want to take a look at a couple of these price uh, drops and price changes. As you guys know, there were a lot of price drops. And as you're seeing these prices right now, you may be thinking this is absolutely nuts. And that is exactly the case of what it is. Usman Dembele was 38, 48,000 coins literally two days ago. This card has dropped 30,000 coins, which is like, I mean, 75% of its value, more than 75% of its value almost in like two days. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy price drop-offs on these cards. If you take a look at the graphs, a lot of the graphs of cards that were in packs yesterday and just all across this market, it's like this, just straight drop-off. Absolute straight drop-off on these cards. And it's absolutely crazy to see these prices and how low some of these cards are. Now, right now, as I'm recording this video, it's getting into the day on Monday and you're seeing extended selling and prices dropping even more. Like there's big time panic on this Mbappe card right now because people are worried about this Icon SBC that is coming today. Check out Mbappe, he was 1.63 on the PlayStation, 1.26 on the Xbox. And you know, with the pack supply, he went down to 1.5 and 1.17 respectively, but now he's down another 100,000 coins plus because of the panic of that uh, SBC and probably some leftover supply as people are still selling the cards on this market right now. I could go through this entire list and we could spend hours looking at these price drops. But again, anything that was in packs, I mean, I saw this price just about 10 minutes ago, under 800K for Di Natale. This guy was 900,000 coins, literally yesterday. 
Literally yesterday, Di Natale was 940K, and right now he's under 800. This is ridiculous. Now, will some of these cards bounce back? Absolutely, because right now what you're seeing is a lot of panic selling due to the people expecting that Icon SBC, and we'll talk about that a little bit in the second half of this video, but a lot of the high tier panic selling that you're seeing right now, especially on the Icons, is because people are worried about that SBC coming, but again, I don't want to underplay just how much these uh, cards that were in packs yesterday were impacted by the supply. Take a look at Rule Breakers Team 2. This Suarez card went for a crazy roller coaster ride on our price yesterday. Suarez on Sunday, starting the day at 900K, goes all the way down to 680, rises back up to 766, and then goes back down. I was actually able to trade this a little bit. I bought a Phil Foden. He dropped from 500,000 coins. I lost coins on Phil Foden this morning, by the way. I bought some from an overnight flip. I lost. I sold them about right here. Sold them about 460, 450. He rebounded back up to 480. Then, bam, down to 400K flat. I bought a Phil Foden, sold it at, sold it at 440, and now he's back down to 400. It's just crazy to see the price drops. All of these rule breaker cards got absolutely destroyed. Corona, 50K. Baba's 100,000 coins. Like these price drop offs are nuts, man. It's crazy to see this market crashing so much. I know a lot of you guys lost coins, and that is very disheartening. I, I totally get it. Um, but some of these cards, I think today, if the Icon SPC is not that good, I do think they will bounce back. So again, I just wanted to point this out and talk again about how this market loses coins when we have incredible amounts of supply like this. I mean, maybe one of the things that we do going forward is if you have cards in your team, um, you know, like let's say you have Kempembe in your team, maybe it's just something whereas if you have games to play, you buy the card for your team, and then when you're done playing the games that you got to play, whether it's your rivals games, whether it's your qualification games, or even your weekend league, after those are over and after you're done with those games, maybe you just sell that card. And maybe we just have to get used to not holding on to any cards that are tradable, that are meta, uh, that are basically over 20, 30,000 coins, like not holding on to any of those in our teams. Um, you know, un unless you're okay with losing a few coins, because undoubtedly within a week's time or two weeks time, you're going to see probably at least a 10% or 20% drop off on that card that is in your team. So maybe that's one of the things we do going forward. If you guys have already been doing that, I think that's a pretty smart move. But now that that 50k pack again, since EA has released that, they could release that again at any time they want to. They have that in their back pocket. Whenever they want to crash the market, they can crash the market literally at any time and i think they're going to continue to do that because that's what they want to do right they want to crash the market make you and us all of us lose coins so that hopefully we go and buy fever points and spend money to get more coins and i think that's the whole kind of prerogative behind this is to is to drop the market fast so that people lose coins and then spend money to get them back but of course we're trying to become self-sufficient on this market and trying not to do that Boom. See, look, we can still trade. I bought this Cornet for 70,000 coins, sold it at 80. We move. Uh, so we can still trade and be self-sufficient on this market, even in the crazy times like this. Now, I want to talk about the content as well before we look into today on Monday. We have another really good value SBC. We've had a bunch of them recently. Varati is decent. Goosens is good. He's cheap. Parejo is pretty good and pretty cheap. And this Mares SBC, can, in, it continues the trend. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. They gave him a dribbling downgrade, just like a, a normal Rule Breakers card would get, uh, a small downgrade. And then they boosted up his pace to 88. And this card looks pretty good. Finesse shot trait, it's 140,000 coins. This dropped a lot of right wings on the game. Usman Dembele Rule Breakers, down bad. Joe Cole, Inform Gabriel Jesus. All of those cards took a big hit yesterday because of this Mars card. And especially with fodder starting to go up, we're going to talk about SBC fodder in a second. Uh, that SBC looks not too bad, but if an Icon SBC were to come today, it might make that a bit more expensive. And maybe it's something you try to craft with upgrade packs later on if we get those, which I'm expecting to get those today as well. Yesterday, we also had this Fellaini objective, which I'm actually interested in this because this card just looks flat out cool. In game, I believe Fellaini has the afro. You can't see it because it's behind my face cam, but he's got the afro on his player card, which makes him more OP in game than you would think. Hair in game means a lot. That's what I'm learning. Anyways, this looks like a pretty easy objective. I know he's hard to link, but it looks really fun. And this might just be kind of like a, a, a collector's item card that you put in your team. 
for an objective. So let's talk about what is going on right now on this market and on this game because again, the rumors are circling and they're legit. They are legit rumors here. Of course, this top foot FIFA account is the same account that posted like the whole entire Rule Breakers team to last week. And this is Donk tweeting this out and saying, again, retweeting what this, this top foot account said and saying, the base icon SBC is coming soon. And then this account replied and said, very soon. So again, as I was talking in yesterday's video, it seems like it would make sense for this SBC to come today. I'm really expecting this SBC to come today and you're seeing the market react accordingly. Like we saw with Mbappe down a lot just over the past couple, like basically the past hour or so. Mbappe has dropped about 60K. Ronaldo was like 830. He went back up to about 860. Now he's down to 810. You just have massive panic selling across this entire market right now because of that icon SBC fear. And you also have people buying up SBC fodder. If I can go and show you actually this index 84 graph, take a look at this 84 is even with all the supply yesterday from the preview packs, the 50 K preview packs with the Mares SBC and people investing for this icon SBC that could be coming fodder is absolutely skyrocketing, right? Take a look at 88. Our boy Erling Holland, 24,000 coins, the cheapest 88 in the game. He was 20,000 coins on Saturday morning on both consoles. He's now 23, 24K on both consoles. Now, to be completely honest with you, this Icon SBC, just like Donk said in this tweet, could be interesting if priced right. The price today on this SBC, it's going to be interesting to see how people interact with it because we just came off of a heroes SBC, right? We just had the heroes SBC that made a lot of this fodder spike. As you can see, Koulibaly was 8K. He went up to 13. We had price range updates on this fodder earlier in the week for a lot of it. That's why people wanted to invest. And you know, 12K for 86 is, is definitely up, but could this fodder basically go extinct and, and hit max price with the icon SBC? My thought is, potentially. But that Icon SBC, again, the price is the key. The reason why the rule, not the rule breakers, the reason why the Foot Hero upgrade SBC caused so much panic on the market is because this is this was really cheap. When they released this SBC, it was 170,000 coins, 150, 160k to do, maybe even 120k if you've got some untradeables in your club. This is really easy for the average and, you know, usual FIFA player to complete. They can complete this in a couple days or right away, maybe with some cards that they have in the club. Now, an Icon SBC, as we looked at yesterday, a 500 to 700,000 coin base Icon upgrade is not going to be easy for a lot of people to complete on this game. And a lot of people, in my opinion, might not go after it, especially after losing a lot of coins yesterday on the market. So... I do think that there are going to be possibilities and opportunities for if the SBC is not priced very well, you might see a lot of these meta cards, Neymar, Messi, Ronaldo, Vinny Jr. in form, maybe some of the rule breakers even today on Monday as well. It all depends on the price of this icon SBC because if it's not priced that well, I honestly think that you will see a bounce back if there's no supply, if there's no 50k preview pack supply today, no pack supply SBC, if it's literally just the Icon SBC and maybe a 78 plus upgrade pack, you might see some of the market rebound, especially on some of the icons that have been panic sold um, and just the high tier, the rare cards. Does this say Luis Hernandez is 500,000 coins? Nah, man. All right. Some of this stuff is just ridiculous. I need to go check this out right now. Luis Hernandez baby card, very hyped up at the moment because he links to the main man, Tecatito, Corona, the right mid that is in the Rule Breakers team. Five, okay, that was a crazy undercut. Now, 500K flat, I would be insta buying that because there is no way that car should be 500K. Anyways, back to the scheduled content. Uh, the, this panic selling can only go so far. <laughs> this panic selling can only go so far on this game today because if that Icon SBC is not good, then you're going to see fodder not get bought up and you're going to see some of these SBC cards probably drop a bit. Again, as we looked at the index 84, people are buying SBC fodder. If you have fodder, again, you have an opportunity here, especially if you bought 88s at like 20K, you can sell them now at 25, maybe even a little bit more today on Monday. If the hype continues to go, you could watch that. So you could sell on the hype if you don't think the SBC is going to be good value. I will tell you this though, people love a base icon upgrade. They love a base icon SBC. It's going to be out for a while. I would imagine that it's out for at least two weeks because this isn't an SBC that you just put out for like three days and it's gone. EA knows that it takes a while 
to get one of these SBCs done. It, it actually might be out for like 20 days. So that's going to make fodder very interesting over the next longer period of time. Um, again, if the SBC is at a decent price today, you'll probably see fodder maybe dip a little bit as people who invested in it maybe try to sell. But that's going to be a very interesting scenario. The only way that I see fodder exploding today, especially on the higher rated side of things, is if the SBC is too cheap. I'm talking if it's like 400K or less for this icon upgrade, if they make it like four squads or five squads, you know, you're going to see probably the 88s, the 89s, some of these higher rated cards, and you know, your 86s as well. You're going to see those really shoot up in price. So, that would be one thing I would watch out for today. We have a lot of demand for SBCs at the moment, like I mentioned with the Mares, Parejo, and maybe with an Icon SBC today, then you would see this stuff go up. Of course, if there's no SBC and these leaks are wrong, fodder is going to drop and then people who invested in it are going to sell it off and stuff like that. But that would be kind of the, the movements that I would watch for on the market with this fodder today on this game. So I know it's been an absolute crazy last day on FIFA because who expected to wake up on Sunday and watch their, you know, N'Golo Kante card go from three, go from basically 360,000 coins, 370K, 380, all the way down to 330 and to wake up on Monday. And he's even lower than that. Like, it's crazy to see these prices on this game, but it's kind of just the way that they're running this game this year, which, you know, it is what it is, right? And we're adjusting to it and we're making the most of it. And we're doing some of that. But one thing I will watch out for if you're trying to trade today, again, watch out for panic selling fluctuations on these rule breakers cards, cards that are out of packs as well, and icons. I would watch out on the RTTKs. I really would, right? Um, flipping icons, road to the knockout cards, ones to watches, informs, some of this stuff like Mukiele. Mukiele right now is, you can tell where people have invested because the parts of the market that people were investing in, that's the parts that are getting hit the hardest. Like this Mukiele was just down at 60K flat. Right now he's at about 62,000 coins. Um, you know, some of the rule breakers from team number one, I'm gonna take a quick look at a couple of these. Erling Holland is getting destroyed. And this is one of the most rare promo cards on this game. I love trading with this card just because he's so rare. He's uh, He was just 550,000 coins, right? Here's the one that's about to go on bid. I'm going to keep an eye on that. So just watch these cards as we load in. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Here's another one. Overinvestment showing through big time on this card as people are panicking for this Icon SBC. Trent is down under 180. This is the lowest that this card has ever been. And look at this. Second owner tradable, right? This is probably somebody who invested in it, especially with the fresh chem style. Okay, first owner. Third owner, no games played on that card. So this, these are people that invested in this trend that are selling it. Uh, you know, if there's little to no content, maybe you see a bit of a rise back on some of these cards. It's going to be an interesting watch today on this market. There's going to be areas to make coins, but probably you were going to get a better sense of things after 6 p.m. after the SBC is released. So if you want to be there, I'll be on stream live, twitch.tv slash the foot accountant, link down below. We'll be watching a lot of icon prices. We'll be watch, watching a lot of these cards in this game. I bought two Hugo Sanchez tonight, one for under 600,000 coins at 570 and one right at 600,000 coins. And it looks like he's about 640. He was like 680. So going to try to make some coins on a flip off of that. And again, I can't believe some of these prices. It's just absolutely, we could spend here for, we could sit here for like an hour and spend so much time looking at all of the cards that have dropped off in price uh, you know, in the past day between the high tier cards, between the low tier cards. It's just crazy. But that is the state of this game. We're going to continue to cover this market as it gets crazier and crazier. And maybe after today, who knows? We're going to keep an eye on it though. We'll see if that icon SBC comes and uh, we'll see how that impacts the market. Again, check the links down below in the um, comment section. Of course, let me know how you're feeling about this market. I want to know if you're happy, if you're upset, what, what the kind of the vibe is with your account. Are you liking your team? Stuff like that. I want to know that down below. Get some of your feedback in this video. Of course, if you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.